Time to get this thing ready for the water. Uh, I'm trying to pull the prop off, this is what stopped me last time. It was tight. Uh, I've now made my own little contraption of a puller, just with a U-bolt and pulling apart an old puller with a thread. Seems to be working, but very tight. I did say the last video to change the size. Yes, I was wrong. It will be a smaller diameter, but the pitch is going to be a sharper pitch, whichever way it goes. It's a higher speed prop is all I know. I don't know boat talk well enough to say it correct first time. <laughs> so I'll change all this, might just cut the rudder. Got a little bit of info from some fellas, put all that back together. And then I might go back to the burn barrel. I've got it to move, oh, I don't know, 20 mil but it must be rusted or seized on there. But it is coming, it's getting there. Let's see if I can show you. It's a lovely noise, boys. Getting on quite the angle here, but it's close. Oh wow, nearly bound up. Not off yet, very close to off. Oh, look how loose that is. It's been loose since I started here, and it must just be the key way it's tight or something. It's tight. That'll need to tap off, surely. How is that on there still? It must be pulling the key way half out as we go or something. That'd suck if it's wrecking my thread. Got it. Key way is definitely sort of looking like the axle. Tad rusty. Also, I wonder if it's got a little bit too much movement here in it. Oh, now nah, we're good. She good. So here's the fresh one to go on. Fresh to me anyway. Did a bit better condition than these busted edges. Um, I did look up the numbers, like it's all a bit unique. L, 11 and a quarter, 15. Um, I was way out with what I was saying. My sizes were on these props, so I had to do some reading up to remind myself. Yeah, that prop I'm pointing at is a 15 degree pitch, 11 and a quarter diameter. This one's like letters, 12 HLSJ. Then that one with letters, 12 is the diameter, H is the pitch, which I think meant it was 13. And then the rest is like left hand, S, super cup, I think it's stood for, and J is the diameter of the prop shaft. That's what that all means. So the prop sucked to pull off because it had a steel keyway. So I made a stainless one. Yeah, that's better. Grudder and prop on with all the adjustments. New keyway for both. Ended up putting a different keyway in the rudder as well because that was sort of loose and average. Put a lock stop in it. So I don't have as much steering, but now if anything bad happens, at least it won't turn probably a fair bit, really. It's what happened because I made all this stronger underneath um, and I was happy with it to have a stop. It was also a comment from one of you. Not a bad idea. Uh, just changing injectors to 1000 cc's. You don't have to pull the throttle body out of B series to get the rail and everything out. Like I got five injectors. The last one's the, the hardest, but you can pretty well push out the injector, leave it on the plug, and then you can get it like in this area to change it. And then you only need to take off the four bolts holding the fuel rail. Much easier and faster. And then really that's, I think, this boat ready for another voyage. Lots of little things, like I just redid both wheel bearings, so they weren't real good. And they amount of the seats better because they're sort of loose. Just lots of general little stuff that I need to keep doing but it's a bit boring to show you guys, so if they're a short video, it's because I'm just making sure the boat's ready and it will do what it needs to do, basically.